Okay, now this video is about the Poisson tables. In the same way that we had tables for binomial distribution, when we find uh, the probability of a number up to and including something, then we've got the same for Poisson. So notice that we've got uh, different values of lambda here, but not every value of lambda. It goes up in multiples of 0.5. And as I said, notice that the probabilities are cumulative. So let's do an example. Uh, suppose we've got a Poisson distribution with parameter 6.5. So if something is occurring at a rate of 6.5, and we want the probability that 4 is less than x, and x is smaller than or equal to 7. In other words, uh, x is between 4 and 7. Not including 4, but it can include 7. So what we're saying is we want x to be bigger than 4, smaller than or equal to 7. So it's basically the numbers 5, 6 or 7. So the probability that x is between 4 and 7, that's the probability that x is smaller than or equal to 7, minus the probability that x is smaller than or equal to 4. Just make sure you understand why that's a 4 and not a 5. We're taking those away. 7 and smaller gives us all of those. But we want to take away 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So... What we need to do now is to find these values on the table. We've got uh, the parameter is 6.5, there it is, uh, and we're finding x is smaller than or equal to 7, so that's 0 0.6728. And then we take away uh, smaller than or equal to 4, which is 0 0.2237, there that is. And that works out to be 0 0.4491. Okay, let's look at another example. There is a pneumatic drill just outside the house at the moment, so uh, I hope you can hear me okay. And here we've got uh, asteroid impact. So the frequency is in proportion, oh, sorry, decreases in proportion to the cube of the diameter. With asteroids one kilometre or more striking the Earth every 500,000 years on average. What's the probability that the Earth is struck by at least three asteroids of radius 10 kilometres in the next decade? So we've got um, to think about the rate at which the asteroids are striking the Earth. So that's one every 500,000 years, which is 0 0.0000002 per year. That's the average. Now that is uh, one kilometre. So for one kilometre, it's 0 0.000002 per year. But what we're going to look at is one metre. So there's a thousand uh, metres in a kilometre. But because um, it's decreasing in proportion, then we've got an inverse proportion um, situation. So we've now got to multiply by 10,000 cubed. It's cubed because it says it's the cube of the asteroid's diameter. So 3 times uh, 0 000002 by 10 by 1,000 to the power 3, we get 2,000 per year. Now let's think about a radius of 10 kilometres. So it says it's got a radius of 10 kilometres. Uh, and this is radius, but these other um, uh, measures are diameter. So if it's got a radius of 10, then it's got a diameter of 20 metres. So 20 metres, that's times by 20. So again, because it's inverse proportional, we have to divide by 20 cubed. So 20 cubed, um, that's 8,000. 2,000 divided by 8,000. That's a quarter, so that's 0 0.25 per year. Uh, but they're asking about um, the next decade, which is 10 years. So in 10 years, 
we'd expect 2, 0.25 times 10, we'd expect 2.5 strikes. So the distribution is a Poisson distribution with parameter 2.5 and we want to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3. Now the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3 is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. And we can look that up in the tables. So we've got uh, parameter 2.5 less than or equal to 2 is 0.5438. So what we've got is the probability is 1 minus 0 0.5438, which is 0 0.4562 to four uh, decimal places.